Can the grounding conductor for service ground rods shock or kill you and why? Almost all electrical service installations are grounded using one or two ground rods. Ground rods are usually installed near electrical service equipment. If two ground rods are installed, they are typically placed six feet apart and connected to each other into the service disconnect with six gauge copper wire. At the first service disconnect, this may be a disconnect or a panel board with a main circuit breaker that serves as the service disconnect. The grounding electrode conductor from the ground rods is connected to the neutral grounding bar bonded to the disconnect enclosure. Sketch of a typical house power supply. Pole transformer as a power source. Service drop wires. And service entrance cable or wires to the electrical meter. Meter pan with electric meter. Service disconnect. And the sub panel. The service disconnect may be located inside the building as part of the panel board. In locations where the 2020 NEC, National Electrical Code, has not yet been implemented, as well as in pre-2020 NEC installations. Grounding and bonding in most homes. Two ground rods. And conductive water pipe, if available. Under normal conditions, current flows. from the power source, for example pole transformer, through the electric meter, the service disconnect, or the main circuit breaker in the panel board, the branch circuit breaker, to any electrical load, a device that consumes energy and converts that energy into another form, for example light, heat, etc. And then returns through the neutral wire to the power source. This is a complete electrical circuit. If any point in the electrical circuit on the supply side is open, current stops flowing beyond the point of opening and there is no any danger from ground rods. At this point the circuit is open. and current stops flowing beyond this point. When the return path of the current through the neutral wire, which offers very little resistance to the current, is broken, the current will take another easy path back to the power source to complete the path. Open neutral, return path for current, at this point, If the neutral conductor is open anywhere beyond the grounding and bonding point at the service disconnect, current stops flowing and no hazard from ground rods exists. Open neutral, return path for current, at this point, or anywhere else towards the transformer.
In this situation, the current will not have the opportunity to return to the power source and will use another available path to return to the power source, completing the circuit. Since the neutral and ground wires are connected, bonded, at the service disconnect. When the neutral wire is opened anywhere between the service disconnect and the transformer and the soil has low resistance, current will flow through the grounding electrodes. To return to the power source and complete the circuit. To better illustrate the problem, let us assume that there is no conductive water pipe in the building. So only two ground rods will provide supplemental grounding. In addition to the main grounding, which is grounding through the service neutral wire. with very low soil resistance between the service ground rods and the transformer ground rod. Almost all the current will flow back to the transformer through the grounding electrode conductor and ground rods. With high soil resistance between the service ground rods and the ground rod of the transformer, The current does not return completely to the power source, transformer. Through the grounding electrode conductor and ground rods. And therefore does not fully perform its work, for example, the light bulb is dim or flickers. The electric motor cannot work or works incorrectly, etc. If you stand on the ground nearby and do not touch objects with a different electrical potential, you are at the same electrical potential as the ground and the service equipment, so you are not at risk of electric shock. If you cut the grounding conductor to the ground rods with insulated pliers in such a situation, the current will stop flowing because the only return path will be open. You may see sparks during cutting. If you cut the grounding conductor from the ground rods with uninsulated pliers, you will expose yourself to electric shock because the current path will be closed through your body. If at this moment you touch a cut conductor, bare ends coming from the service disconnect, And you are not completely isolated from the ground. You will receive an electric shock. Even worse, if you grab both ends of the cut conductor, bare ends, at the same time. At that moment the electrical circuit will complete and all the current will flow through your body, which can be fatal. Another scenario to consider. The entire electrical installation in the house where you work is perfect, including grounding and bonding. The service disconnect can also be turned off. For some reason you cut the grounding conductor between the ground rods and the service disconnect. You touch both ends of a cut wire and get an electric shock. Why? The ground rods are probably picking up current from a faulty circuit from this or another house. When all electrical circuits in a house are turned on, ground rods can also pick up current from a faulty circuit in the same home. 
Sketch illustrating the above issue. A post light or other electrical device is installed nearby. Using an underground cable or raceway. Sketch of current flow in a normal situation. Current flows from the power source to the light bulb. And returns through the neutral wire to the power source. The neutral wire from the circuit to the post light is for some reason broken and torn. When a light turns on. With an open neutral wire of the circuit touches the soil. The current seeks a path back to the power source to complete the circuit. At this time, the easiest way for current to return to the power source is through service ground rods. And service neutral wire. Current flows from the open neutral wire of the circuit to the ground rods. The grounding conductor. Service neutral wire. And to the transformer, power source, of this house. or neutral wire on the pole to the transformer, power source, for the other house. The neutral wires on the pole are bonded and grounded, which ensures equalization of potentials in the neutral wire and the earth is a common electrode. If the grounding conductor from the ground rods is cut, And you touch the end of the conductor from the ground rods. And touch the other end of the cut wire. Or something bonded to neutral wire with less resistance, such as a service disconnect enclosure. You will close the path of the current through your body, exposing yourself to an electric shock, which could be fatal. Always remember that any wiring can be dangerous, even the grounding wire that ensures the safety of all living things when the electrical system is functioning properly. If this video is helpful please subscribe. Comments are welcome.